What is up guys, it's Nick. We are back on Black Desert, continuing the Valk. We are here at Lynch Farm. Remember, grab the side quest from her. There's also a side quest from our buddy, the soldier, right next to her. And then there is another side quest up here in the barn. Um, at the beginning of the... Okay, can I learn how to walk up a pair of stairs? Um, at the beginning of the game, it's very nice to get these three quests. Now, they don't give you a whole lot, but they are very easy to do. You'll do them just simply by completing the regular quest. And so, definitely highly recommend you take care of these. Uh, there is real no negative to picking them up. Now, we're back on Valk today, so I gotta get used to not one-shotting stuff. I, I was ready to, like, move on to the next mob immediately, and I gotta remember that we are not OP on this character. We are just appropriately powered, so we gotta actually fight stuff on this character, which will probably cause me to go to learning combos a little bit quicker than I normally would. Because normally with combos, I would take until mid 30s, high 30s, low 40s before I even touched them. But on this character where we're not rushing and we are uh, not buying super OP gear for it immediately, um, yeah, I just am not gonna. I'm probably just not gonna go as long without learning any combos because really. The amount of damage that I do even right now to these guys at this level is pretty garbage. Not gonna lie. So, gonna have to get to learning a combo here eventually. I mean, like, I know how to do, like, certain stuff right here and whatnot. But overall, not a whole lot of, you know, I don't really know how to play Valk yet. So, gonna probably, in an episode or two, we're gonna have to learn some skills and teach myself. Like I said in the last episode... We will be learning a little bit of some different, or not learning, we'll be buying some different armors and stuff like that and weapons that I usually don't buy, but they are scaled more appropriately to a playthrough such as this, where we're not just all out buying a pry or a duo or a try weapon to start with. So with that being said, um, at some point here very soon I will get all that taken care of so i need this free there we go there's all my piggies free i believe yes that will complete all of the side stuff that we were doing see that easy to complete the side stuff try to do my best to mention it as much as possible but it is the easiest uh some of the easiest quests you'll ever get and the best part about it is is that it's it's in the pathway that you come back to so it's not like some of those side quests where you have to like remember to backtrack and get to them to turn them in this one is really easy because it's just there it's just like you know when you go back to zara lynch you can turn them in and easy peasy probably the easiest side quest in the game to do so and they're at the beginning of the game which is really nice and they give some pretty decent rewards for the beginning of the game so literally no reason not to do them can't give you a reason or an excuse on why you shouldn't do them but i guess if you really don't want to do them you don't have to but they're like literally free they take no extra time to do except you have to just hit some carts and the pigs but the pigs and the carts are right on your route anyway so yeah there's really really no reason not to do them if i could suggest you do one set of side quests in the game that is the set. Maybe right behind Black Abyssal, which I think you just get now anyway. I think they changed that up. But point is, is other than Black Abyssal when it was a side quest, that's probably the number one suggestion that I would give is to do these early ones. Uh, there's also the ones with the burned people, the contaminated people that you probably should do. But other than that, you guys know what I'm trying to say. They're just really good quests. I just kind of went on it for a long time about really easy quests. Okay, don't know why it decided to take that weird zigzag pattern, but it did. I like how that person bounced off and I didn't. Haha, ha, you can auto pass through them. I'll take the smarter route. Okay. Go ahead and complete this quest. Back out. Okay, I think we're good. 
Yes, we are. So now we just need to investigate the top. One thing that I really like about the ninja is the double jump that she has. I just think it's it's pretty useful for traversing. Because some of the traversing in this game is a little clunky. I like it. It's, it's like kind of realistic, more realistic kind of. But it's also like a little clunky. Not gonna lie. There's some... Like this jump right here. Okay, I did it perfectly that time, but you guys have seen, if you've watched the channel long enough, you've seen me fail that jump like an idiot multiple times. Because it's kind of a little clunky. It's just a, just a little bit of a clunky... Oops, not what I wanted to do. It's just a little bit of a clunky mechanic right there. It's just that jump right there. There's a couple of stuff like that just throughout the game at different times that are just a little bit clunky. Uh, and that's one of them. Uh, it's not, like, super terrible, but it's a noticeable clunkiness. I like how the fall... They just, like, completely ditched fall damage in this game. Because those falls used to do a lot more damage than they do... Where is it? I'm just... Hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna go on my own and... Yeah, wait for it to auto-update. Because I was gonna say, the auto-pathing is taking me to another dimension. I don't know where it's going. Because Dastard Beg's close. He's just, like, right over here. All right. Oh, you know what? I didn't rescue the investigators from the wizard's altar. We'll get that on the way back, because you can get it on the way back. I'll re I'll store it in the memory bank, and hopefully I don't forget between now and killing good old Dastard Beg here. So this will actually be kind of a fun fi fight here, because I'm not super OP. Usually at these boss fights at the beginning, we bought, like, a tri-weapon, and it's just like... Okay, well, I'm just going to smack the shit out of Daster Beg here, but not this time. You can see much more appropriate damage here. Try to get behind him. Play my angles. Treat it like a Dark Souls boss. Get to the sides and then just kind of circle him. Oh, I almost got on. Ooh, that was almost like kind of like super clutch. Because I almost got underneath his... What? I, oh my god, I got ghost hit. What is, what is it? Is it just... Uh, don't actually know. I know I have a shield. I have a block somewhere, but I don't really know how to use it. Which goes back to the whole... We have to learn our combos because... If I'm going to be taking damage, I have to learn how to block. I can't just stand and tank every single piece of damage. But I, I did there, but you guys get the point. I can't do it, like, all the time. I can't just eat damage all the time. Though, that is kind of how I play the game. Is I just try to output more damage than you're going to output to me. Okay, so we need to go to the right to get back to the farm. But we're going to go back up top. Free. I believe all we got to do is free, like, two or three of them. I think that's it and then we'll good we'll go back we'll get zara lynch's wedding ring from the ruins and then believe we head back to zara lynch and uh yeah we head back to zara lynch and that's kind of the end of this portion of the game all right so back up the tower i believe this is what i gotta do though i thought it usually had a number instead of just a blanket statement but maybe I'm wrong. We'll, we'll find out. If this isn't it and I'm thinking of something completely different. Can, hello? Can I pull myself up? Thank you, game. Oh my god. Pull yourself up. Valk, pull yourself up. Okay, that'll work. Whatever. She was on the struggle bus up parkouring up this. Okay, so... Okay, guy's gone. Let's see. Please tell me that... Okay. I think there's there's one down here. Okay, someone knocked... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Get the jump. There we go. Okay, okay, there we go. We just had to rescue one. Nice. Okay, sweet. I'll take it. Easy enough. See, and they're even easy to correct if you forget about them and you fail them. Which is really nice. And my game is freezing. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's go get Zara Lynch's wedding ring now. 
And then we can work on turning in these quests. That's not what I wanted to do. Put your weapon away. Put your weapon away. I hit the wrong stick in. But yeah, then we can turn these quests in, grab the rewards, and uh, move on to the next portion of the game. Uh, I'm not quite sure what path I'm going to be taking. Uh, I got to decide here pretty quickly because as soon as we go back and talk to uh, that guy, we got to know exactly what we're doing. Um, I don't think I want to do the Jordine one, but I honestly don't remember which option that is. So <laughs> we're going to be taking some guesses on uh, on which one. I'm going to read. We'll read them and then we'll go from there. We'll figure it out. Okay, we're not going to turn it in yet. Let's go grab her wedding ring. Get in here. Grab the ring. There we go. Have everybody and their mother run into this room with you. I'll fight them all off. Get out. Alright, back to Zara Lynch. Alright, talk to this soldier first, grab... See, we get a little XP, not a lot, and we get some food out of it. Obviously not great, but it's better... And once again, like I'm saying, it's better than nothing, and it's something to start the game with. Because this is very early into the game. Then we have our soldier here. This one actually gives us a gold bar and some potions, uh, which is very nice. That's one you definitely want to complete. Then we have the Zara Lynch one that we can turn in. So we're going to turn that in. We got this quest. We got the gold bars. We got a key. And we got a bunch of potions. So obviously, we want to take that again. I believe that's the main quest one that gives you the potions. And then paying off debts. That's the main story quest. Uh, Orwin and Heidel is a quest that we need to complete. But I haven't completed that yet for some reason. Maybe we'll complete it. Maybe it'll just stay on the screen forever. But... We need to give the pouch full of silver to Bobby Lauren and ask for an extension for Zara Lynch. And then I believe that's the point in which we make our decision on what the heck we want to do going forward on the character. Do we want to... I believe it's do you want to fight monsters mainly? Do you want to do the dark story? Do you want to do the normal story? Got no idea which one we're going to do. I We don't want to do the dark story because we're doing that one on on Konoichi, though that's my favorite story. I think we might just do the Killing Monsters version because I think that's easy enough. Um, I think it's just easy because then I don't have to do as many cuts and I don't have to deal with segments of like half hour, 45 minutes of playing where it's just, woo, cutscenes and stuff. Because, I mean, we've all seen the initial cutscenes in the base game. Um, a million times because most of us have to play those that already so don't really want to do those again maybe like this summer i'll do a playthrough and we'll, we'll watch everything because it's been a while since i've watched them to be honest with you but i still am not ready to watch them again so here we go so we have the lamenting head of the league of merchants that's the one we don't want to do um this quest in route is centered around it. Yeah, we want to grab this one in the mill mil, mil, in the middle. Silence. We're done here. So we still need to go find good old Jordine Ducas. I'm gonna actually hold on. I want to get. I want to clean up the inventory a little bit here. So we did get some new gear that we can throw on here. Prove our uh, prove our shit. And then the rest, I know I could probably make a little bit more selling it on the marketplace, but for time's sake, I don't want to waste your guys' time. So we are just going to sell it like this and uh, call it a day. Clear up the inventory since we don't have a ton. I don't want to sell the gems. Um, I'll sell those later, but everything else we can sell. There we go. So, let's go ahead and go talk to Jordine Dukas, and then we'll get our next quest, which I don't actually remember what the next quest is. That's why I'm kind of not cutting ahead, because um, this is kind of not new for me, but it's like, okay, I don't really remember what happens from here. 
so we can all have a little bit of, oh, that's what happens together, because I don't remember. Uh, don't need to chat. Just grab the quest. Ah, yes, yes. The good old Moretti. Okay, so this fits out, this fits well with the episode. Okay, so there are those easy quests at Zara Lynch Farm. And if you take this quest, you can go to uh, Moretti Plantation, which is where we're going to go now. And you can grab even more easy quests that go with just completing the regular thing. So, actually worked out really well that I can go over this with you guys, because, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's, that's almost too perfect. Like, I did not remember that we go to Moretti Plantation, and, but I do remember the quests at Moretti Plantation, because they are easy and they are good. All right, so let's get over to Moretti, and then we can go over, go over that there. Because I believe there is a, I believe there's like four or five quests here that you can pick up. Now, obviously, rewards once again aren't crazy, but they're mediocre, and uh, yeah, mediocre quests is is good enough for me. Especially early in the game. I mean, we're level 20. You can't expect to make, like, $2 million all of a sudden at level 20. So, I think the quests here are very good. So, here's what you want to do. You want to talk to Mercy Ann Moretti first. And she'll give you your main quest. And she'll also have a pair of side quests. So, she's going to talk about Alarundi the Immortal. And then you can grab these two side quests from her. Then you want to go and talk to my boy Haynes here, or Hannes. Hannes. And he has three side quests for you. And if I'm not mistaken, there is even another person here with side quests for you. Uh, is there? I don't even remember. I feel, I thought there was, but maybe there isn't. Maybe it's just five. I guess it's just five. Okay. So we need to ask about Alrundi. Which I guess we can do real quick. Where is this taking me? It's just taking me... Okay, let's do these side quests first. Because I want to kill these stupid lookout things. Which is half of the battle. You gotta kill scarecrows, you gotta kill the lookouts, and that's about it. Oh, you gotta scare... You gotta, you gotta kill scarecrow ghosts. Like, you can see that. Look at that. Two quests already completed. There's another scarecrow ghost. You're dead another lookout we got to kill 35 lookouts that's probably the hardest part of this but like that's just 35 and who cares that's easy a z quest that's what we like quest to give you some decent rewards for doing absolutely nothing i guess we have to kill 25 scarecrow ghosts i didn't notice that one but still easy e z peasy kill you we're gonna go counter clockwise through this Fifteen more wheat field lookouts. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Why I went like a little silent because I didn't want to sneeze. But I think we're good now. Okay, so we need ten more ghosts. I hate this. Like, let me move faster. I don't know what causes her to go into this, like, um, kind of defensive state where she's slow moving with her shield up. I don't really know what causes that. Probably something I need to figure out, but right now I don't know what causes it. Okay, so we need six more ghosts, and we're about to be done. Yeah, the ghosts are pretty much the only thing left. That should be easy enough. Slaughtered. We need five more ghosts. Easy enough. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You turn over here. It's just ghost on top of ghost. Easy. One more ghost. Come here, bud. There we go. Did I not tell you that those side quests were easy? Now you just go back in here, and we can turn these bad boys in. Easy. Easy money. Like, that gave you 200,000. Uh, did I not complete one? Hold on. 
Oh, there he is, right there. This goblin gives the other quest. I am blind. I knew there was another one. I'm just going to grab the quest on a principle. Um, I don't know what the actual quest is to do. You need to kill a scarecrow gross and obtain a big sickle. That's literally it. So you would have gotten it. We're going to go do that now. But you would have gotten it by simply completing everything else. And you can see her two quests gave you four total gold bars. It's just way too good. It, it, I just, it's way too good. You can't, like, pass that up. It's way too good. And obviously, having to kill 20 of these, you would have got one of those sickles uh, guaranteed. I have to go back and do it now, but yeah. You would have definitely got one if you killed 20 of these. If I somehow manage to kill 20 right now, which we're at 4, and I don't get one, I will kind of lose my mind, but you should get one in 20. Hello? Come on. Give me it. Drop it. Drop it. Bro. I felt like I got it, but then I didn't get it. I got like a scythe piece or something like that, and I thought it was... I thought I thought I would have completed it. Uh, no, that was just me leveling up. I was like, oh, good, we completed it, but nope, that was just a level up. Okay, I'm getting trolled. Getting trolled by Black Desert. Okay. Scarecrow Ghost, drop one. Hello? Nope, I'm convinced I am getting trolled by this game. I've killed like 12 or 13 at this point. Getting trolled. Oh my gosh. Getting trolled by Black Desert. Hello? Can one of you drop this? I can't take this seriously. I'm getting trolled. Uh, they're never going to drop it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go out on a limb and tell you guys that it you really normally doesn't take this long. But my ass is getting full on trolled. Black Desert. Come on, come on, come on. You can't be this. You can't be serious with me right now. This is... This is some next level. This is some next level. Getting... Getting peak trolled by good old Black Desert right now. Kill you. Yeah, see, I got rusty sickle shards, but I can't get the big sickle. Can I... Hello. Game, stop trolling me. Well, I'm just gonna kill these guys because they munched up. Game. Hello? Can we stop with the trolling of Nick? Scarecrows, you guys. One of you cough it up! Give it to me! Killing me. There we go! Oh my gosh! I swear I killed like 30 of those. That was ridiculous. But, but... That is that side quest complete. And so that's where we're going to actually call this episode. I think that's a good place to call it. Um, I'm just going to randomly pick one of these. Let's pick that one. Um, easy quest. That gives you gold bars as well. You can see right now, 13 gold bars. That's $1.3 million that we have right now for literally just playing the level 22. $1.3 million is very good. That can get you a pretty decent weapon. Uh, and if you continue to do these side quests, there were other ones that you could have done, obviously. Um, and if we would have done those, we would have had more. That's why I'm willing to spend like four mil for a weapon here shortly. But yeah, you can get enough money to get a pretty decent weapon early in the game. It's fairly easy in my opinion. And so yeah, it's, it's something that you can do fairly easily. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys next episode where we will be killing Alarundi. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace.